We're going to do a brief video on Sabre stock news and that's Sabre Corporation. We've got a chart for you, a daily chart right in front of us here with three moving averages. The green moving average, which is hard to see, is a five day. The red is a 20 day and the blue is a 200 day moving average. Let's go over here and take a look real quick at this Sabre stock news and see what's going on. We can see we had some really interesting behavior in this stock. So let's go back here to the high of this cycle, which was about $16, roughly a share back in, let's call it March of 2021. We came down, went right through the 200 day moving average, put in a low at around uh, 975 and then rallied right back up to the 200 day moving average at about $12.65 or so, crashed back down. Obviously, once we crashed through the 200 day moving average, we were in a bear market and remained in a bear market with some serious oscillation back and forth all the way through this point of uh, early, let's say early May 2022. We had very little respect for this 200 day moving average, but it did contain a conversion to a bear, to a bull market. You can see it went through it significantly back and forth. These moves all are exaggerated because this is a very uh, low price stock but essentially we bounced around the 200 day moving average eventually going back deep into a bear market again right here at around uh, the beginning of may 2022 and that's still where we are we we have come down if you take a look at it right here scrunched up you can see this stock got way way too far away from its 200 moving average from its 200 day moving average consolidated down here between june and uh late july and then rallied right back up to the 200 day moving average and crashed back down again so it is somewhat respecting the 200 day moving average it's just it's just hard to uh to get a, a very finessed look at it because the stock price is so low but let's take a look at it from today this is the 200 day moving average is blue and we can see our, our point where it came up and tested it we have a stock price now that is below the 200 day below the 20 day in red and below the the green uh, or flirting with the green. So this stock's still in the bear market. What do I see for the future of this stock in the near term, the next two weeks to a month? Uh, this stock looks like it's trying to get into a trading range and find what's going to happen. My guess is it's going to go down here to the high $5 and uh, find some support down in here somewhere. This is all for entertainment purposes, only all my opinion, but it's probably going to go down here, find some support in the high $5 range uh, today we're trading volume uh, above normal normal is about 6.8 million shares a day is trading 8.3 million shares as i look at it right now so there's heavily a lot of heavy trade in this stock especially for a stock priced in the 6 650 range but that's what we're, we're seeing so my guess is uh, you'll see trade activity push it down to the to the high fives and then probably back up to close to seven or maybe even 750 in this range for the next couple of weeks uh, and into early October. That's my best guess for right now. Keep in mind, uh, that's for entertainment purposes only and anything can happen. When you're talking about a stock like this um, that has these huge moves, again, dollar-wise, they're not that big in the price, but they're definitely big moves on a chart like this. That's that's almost a 40% move right there in the stock I'm looking at between um, the, uh, the February high and the early March low. So this stock can move once it gets going. If it breaks these lows established down here at about 540 a share back in July, then it could easily go down here in the, in the low uh, fours or high $3 range, easy. So this stock is in a bear market and um, short term, probably gonna trade in a little range, but if we don't get some support underneath it from a 20 day moving average, um, this stock could easily uh, go down further, as I said, into the high threes. So that's my analysis for right this second. High threes are possible by early October if we don't get support from the 20 day. But if we get some support from the 20 day and we get a decent little rally, we could be as high as I would say by the end of September, early October, as high as maybe eight bucks, somewhere around in there. Again, for entertainment purposes only, you got to do your own research and it's my opinion only. I checked earlier, RBAM Research does not cover this stock. I will check about adding it. But RBAM Research does cover 190 stocks that come out every morning before 7 a.m. We cover um, most of the major stocks and some of the minor ones. We do cover some penny stocks, but not a whole lot. Uh, this uh, analysis of our algorithms is a 1, 5, and 20-day hold period. For stocks, we're longs only. I'll show you in a minute how to get this completely free, no credit card required. But the way it works is you buy in the buy 
uh, the one day column you buy today hold for one day close out at the end of the trading day tomorrow at a loss just before the market closes or take your profits as soon as you get them same thing for the five and the 20 if you were to buy in the 20 day column assuming your own analysis says it's a good thing to do these are for entertainment purposes only but um if your own analysis said to buy it roughly where we we indicate on our on our table here then you could buy today hold worst case 20 days close out at a, at a loss if you didn't make any money or take your profits sooner if you get them so with this system you take your profits as soon as you get them and close out worst case at the end of one five or 20 day holding periods again these are just for entertainment purposes only and you have to do your own analysis you can see all these zeros today that's because our algorithm does not think today's a good day to buy all these stocks there's a couple in here i think verizon's got a price in here today for the different holding periods and there's a few more in here you're going to see zeros on this probably once or twice a week most of the days you're going to see 80 percent or more uh entry prices it just today does not look like a great uh a great day for the algorithm to buy stocks if you go down to a different algorithm we have this is a beta algorithm that we've put in here it's not available right now but it shows all shorts uh, this is a traditional 30-day trend following system you hold max 30 days on this one and again this isn't available uh, on our website yet but it is out for beta purposes and uh, it's showing all shorts which is consistent with the uh, algorithms above saying that today's not a great day to buy stocks. You can get everything I just showed you, plus a lot more at rbamresearch.com. Absolutely free, no credit card required. There's a link in the description below. You just go to rbamresearch.com through that link and sign up for free with no credit card required, and you get 190 stocks. You get the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures. You get entry prices for them every morning before 7 a.m., Monday through Friday. Please keep in mind that if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to see more, please do that. If you have a great comment that uh, can help us make these videos better, we'd love to hear it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And please keep in mind that everything you've heard or seen on here, including all the commentary and our entry prices, is for entertainment purposes only. You have to do your own analysis. All of our information is for entertainment, and you definitely trade at your own risk.